And we also know two UNM students have been charged in connection to the shooting of Mike P. Target 7's John Cardinelli joins us now in studio. And John, you've learned new information about the UNM students involved. Yeah, that's right, Darlene and Ron. State police interviewed dozens of students who witnessed or were a part of the incident that happened on November 19th. These are their accounts of what they experienced the night of the deadly shooting. State police. This body cam video Target 7 obtained by state police shows officers showing up to a dorm room at UNM's campus to question a student who was present the night NMSU basketball player Mike Peek exchanged gunfire with 19-year-old UNM student Brandon Travis who died. I'm trying to check his pose and then this other girl, she come out of nowhere, she like, she used to say she like EMC or us, whatever. And I take his mask off, I hold his head up. This unidentified student was trying to aid Travis after Travis and a group of his friends tried to attack Peak after he was lured to campus by a 17 year old girl. He cut off his shirts, and then that's when he seen like he was shot in the bag, and then they started doing the compressions and stuff. This student, Elijah Upshaw, knew Travis. He asked me that I know Brandon, and I was like, yeah, and he told me that he was outside. <laughs> And he was watching the paramedics and resuscitation. He's got, he was gone. In fact, Upshaw was a part of the fight down at the UNM NMSU rivalry game with Travis, which prompted Travis's attack on Peak. I helped my friend fight, and I like messed up my hand pretty bad right here. I got some stitches. I got my nose broke. They were just gonna jump him. Nobody was supposed to die. This 17-year-old girl that Target 7 has chosen not to identify because she is a minor is currently facing aggravated battery and conspiracy charges. Brandon laid out the plan, but okay. they, they all collectively told me to run. This whole encounter with the, those three guys mm -hmm. lasted less than five seconds. This student, who was not named by state police, was in the hallway after the incident happened. But he pulled, put me up against the wall with his hand. Like, and he's like, oh, if you, if you say that, I'll beat you up, I'll beat your ass and like that. And this whole time I'm just in shock. And Target 7 is not yet able to confirm if that last student is the same person referenced in Jonathan Smith's criminal complaint, which describes a suspect throwing someone against the wall. Smith is being charged with aggravated battery, conspiracy, and tampering with evidence for the attack on Peak. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli.